Shalom and welcome to Dinim class number 28. I am your host, Rabbi David Katz. Can I get a one, even if just to humor me, humor myself here? Any ones out there? Anyone have a one from one land? One world? All right. All right, so Justin posted what we're doing. I almost deviated here. I learned things today that will blow your mind. But I don't want to lose the green book. We got to do that at some point. So what I did today in my office, we'll probably do it next week. It is really, really cutting edge gear stuff. Cutting edge gear stuff. The most cutting edge yet. And I would love to do it, but I, we really got to do the green book. Let's be responsible, folks. We have to. All right. A vote of Zyra to be. Now, I'm not trying to learn it word for word. We're going to do that in the green book. Let me just get the Indian here. You know what? Let's, let me do the English. I don't want to learn deeply in the English. So when we don't learn deep, we go to easy translations to get the gist. All right. We're in Odazar to B. All right. So we're talking about Mount Sinai, right? The Jewish people are going to receive the oral Torah and God holds the mountain over their head. Type one. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. I'm toggling between screens. And from there, if ye accept the Torah, it will be well with you. If not, it will be your grave. There upon Gosh will say to them, let us consider the happenings of old. As it is said, let them announce to us former things in Isaiah. Okay, now I want to get out of the English. Okay. Oh, wow. Now that's interesting. Now, everybody in the world that you ask, are you with me? Anyone that you ask the meaning of this, they will say to you, That God said to Israel, if y'all accept the Torah, it'll be well with you. Justin Becker, do you think that's what it means? Is that what it means, John? I, you know, we, I have, everyone has these little missions that we're on, right? In every genre. One of my personal missions, which is what led to this class today, is I am not sold that the word mekablin means we accept. Do you know why? Justin, do you know why? Why I'm not sold? John, do you know why? How about because it doesn't mean that? How about that for an answer? You like that answer? How about the fact that Macablin doesn't mean accept? I'm not even sure in Hebrew if there is the word accept. How many of you have ever said the English phrase, I have? Yes, I have three dogs. Thank you for asking. How many of you have ever said the word have? What's the common cliche? That in Hebrew, there's no word have. Right? Yeshli shtei kelevim. 
There is to me two dogs. Hebrew doesn't have mine. I have. It says there is to me. You understand that? So is there the word except in biblical Hebrew? I don't know. I never thought about it. But what I have thought about is the word makablin doesn't mean accept. There's something called a cut. This is where I was going into the ideas I was telling you about. But we're going to stick to the book. How many of you know what a kablan is? A kablan is a hired worker who I think you might call a sharecropper, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me get your trusty dictionary on this. I, uh, I'm not good with my my vernacular on this. I know in the Hebrew, in the English, I'm not so always positive. An aris, an aris is a sharecropper. So let's look up kablan. A sachir is a hired worker, which on Shabbos you cannot have a, a, a sachir. A contractor is a kablan. Justin, what's a sharecropper? Right, he, I think he gets part of the profits, right? So you have an aris who gets the profit. And a kablan is a contractor. Right, so the contractor, he can work whenever he wants, right? If I hire you to build my house, you, you're in charge of the project, and I just want it done by, by January, right? But, and if it's an, a sharecropper, an aris, uh, whatever, that's a little different. But in a sahir would be I'm in charge of the project and I'm paying you to build my wall on Shabbos itself, right? That would be a problem. So a kablan, a contractor, he has to take on the job. Is that correct, Justin Becker? We stipulate a price for the kablan and he takes on the job. Is that correct? Type one. So if we agree on $50,000, then he will be getting $50,000. If it takes him 50,000 years, that's his problem. If he gets it done in five days, that's his problem. Meaning I don't tell him when he's working. He got paid. He has a job to do. So what we have is... This I this this vernacular. I want to get it from the other Talmud. Where did I see it at? It's in Shabbos, and I don't remember the page. So I'll quote it from memory. Hey man, I would really like to see that from Shabbos. Um hold on. I wanna I wanna I wanna quote the language here. I don't wanna trust myself. Oh, it's an Avodah Zora, 21. Should be Avodah Zora 21. Is that true? Well, hold on, people. Hold on, take a little detour because we do things the long way. Don't we, Justin Becker? Hold on with your question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mask your side there. Um, I think that was 244. 
Taisvis Sham of Vayis Gilim 21, Shabbos 21. Oh, that was the Taisvis over there. Where was our sharecropper, our, our contractor? Where was our sh- our, uh, our our contractor? Let me get my notes. One second here. Hold on, this is important. I didn't realize the Hebrew for the English by the by, by the Jewish people said makablin. That changes everything, and for the better. Then the question becomes, did I write it down? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Toysfis Vodazora 21B. All right. For the Zora 21B. For the Zora 21B. That can't be. Wait a second here. I was really not planning on bringing this in. Uh, I did it a long time ago, as in about two weeks ago. And now I'm thrown off. Let me see here. It's not that. Wait a second. Ah, well, you know what? It's that Ron bomb. Hold on a second. Where's that Ron bomb? Hang with me, guys. This is important. This is important. So the Ron bomb. Osir. Where was that at? Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Uh, should be right here. Where was that Rambam? Oh, heavens, where did I put that? Hold on a second. Man, this is a waste of time. Hang on. We will find this. No, that's already too far. Where's that Rambon? Rambon. Toy Sick Adam. That's not that. It's got to be right here. Okay, that's that. All right. Yeah. Where's that Rambam? 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 Where's that I'm probably doing, I'm going about this the hardest way possible. <sighs> there we go. This should be. That's not that one. Let's see. Where's that Rambam? Where's that Rambam? Where's that Rambam? Where's that Rambam? Yeah, this is, I think, where it is. Oy, 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 where is this? I'm going over the laws of Shabbos in my spare time. And my notes, I didn't think I'd have to rely on my notes. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dear, Ron, near the Osir, oh, okay, Medina. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Rambam. I think it's here. Good. Tor Vashem. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it. Um, I just don't remember. I, I I just don't remember exactly where that Ram Ram was. Um, let, me, let me try to look more time. One second. Oh, I don't want to leave this out. Yeah, James, you will have to edit this out. James, if you're listening to this, edit it out. We need you to edit it out. James, officially edit this out. All right. So did McCoblin. Uh No, I know I wrote that. Now, what did I mean by that in terms of where to find it? There's your Psyche Ratio stuff. Okay. So 244. All right. So 244. 244. One, two, and three. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so it's the beginning of 244. Let's see what that means. There's going to be a Ram bomb in here somewhere. 244. Should be a Ram bomb in here. There should be a Ram bomb. There we go. Uh, I think we're finding it. Hey, there it is. There it is. All right, I think we got it. There it is. All right. Where's that Rambam source? Very close. No, is there a Rambam over here? Where is that Rambam? Wait, that's true. It was. It was not. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. It was the Talmud, and also. Shan Toisis Harosh, Rabbi Shami Sham, Perakama de Avodazora, Perakama de Avodazora. Let me see, where is that paracommodal for the Zora? So why is that the clearest? Tais of Sham of what was William 21 over Shabbos. Ah, Shabbos 17, I think. I remember that now. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure. What do you think, Justin? What are the chances it's going to be here? Seventeen. Why? Maybe not. Hold on. <laughs> oh no! Come on! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's got to be here. Where in the world? I I learned my Shabbos stuff really deep, and I don't remember every source by memory. One second here. All right, that's it. Quit messing around and find this thing. All right, hold on. All right, two forty three. What is Zora? Ah, there it is. The Rabbam Beper Zayim Hilchus Shabbos. Lo Yasker Adam Erechad Shalol Ina Yudim Yudim. You know, is this? Uh, 
Is this it? Yeah, right. Okay, is that it? Is that it? What is Zora? 21. Rambam. The Rambam and Perik Zion and Hilcha Shabbos. Let's look it up. Ready? Rambam and Hilcha Shabbos. This is a little bit of annoying, but what can you do? No, that's not it. All right, hey, I'm getting upset now. We gotta find this. Getting a little upset. Upset. Okay, so it's got to be over here. It has got to be. So now, um, yeah, 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 this has got to be in here now. Why am I not seeing the Rambam? Why am I not seeing the Rambam? This is crazy. Hold on a second. One second. Well, this might be it. I think I'm in here. Here we go. This, I'm almost positive this is it. This, I think, is it. Now, where's the Rambam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, I got it, I got it, I got it. My only question is, why is it not saying Rambam? Second here. Hang with me. We're almost there. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, my it is. Mode, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Mode cut in 12. That's it. I remember this now. Got it. This is a fact. This is a fact. Justin Becker, did you have right? Uh, 
How much want to bet? How much do y'all want to bet? Here's the moment of truth. What do you got in it? How much money are you guys wagering? Any question? There it is. X marks the spot, ladies and gentlemen. Time of a button. We're in Moet Cut and Twelve. McCoblin Kibailis. There it is. And where's that Rambam? Rambam Sham. Rambam Sham. Seven twenty-five in Hilchas Yantef. Ready? Twenty seven twenty five in Hilchus Yantef. You ready? Seven twenty five in Hilchus Yantef. You ready? Where's Hilkos Yontif? That's another question. Here we go. Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos. What I say, 725? James, pick it up by now, uh, a little bit before. That the Rambam is saying, we, Jewish people don't know the difference between a contractor and a worker. 725 Hilkos In a Moed Cotton, 12A, what is the definition of Makablin? Look at Rashi. Mekablin ki boilis. You got that, Justin Becker? Mekablin ki boilis. Mekablin ki boilis. Notna le nachri la sota acher hamoyin. That you give to the nachri that he should do it after the holiday. You see how it's a contractor, right? I need my house fixed. I'm giving you money uh, that you should start after the holiday, right? Now, notice the words, mekablin kibolis. So it's money given through a kablan. You got that? It's not just like a, a cash that you get your, your products back, right? Mekablin ki bolis. It's money spent, but not really. It's contra- contracted, exactly. So, Mekablin is a, like a contractor who accepted a job. Type one. So, if I say, Justin Becker, that you are McCoblin. All right? Justin, you're McCoblin. What does that mean, Justin? That would mean you're contracted. You did accept the job, didn't you? It, it does mean accept. But does it really? Or how about take on? Take on the job. Accepting is not a right word, is it? So God says to Israel, see, it was worth the wait, wasn't it? (laughs) I told you. If y'all are Makablin, the Torah, you understand now what Makablin means? It does not mean accepted. If you're Makablin, the Torah, it'll be well for you. 
Justin, I everybody that's ever built me a house, it was good for them. And Justin, you're a struggling um, subcontractor, aren't you? So if you were wise, you would take on the job to build my house. Type one. Right? If you don't take it on, I'm promising you it's the end of your career. If you take it on, you will fly. And if not, it'll be your grave. So the first ones listened. Seven mitzvahs that they macabland. Heichen kai masum. Let's read the English on that real quick. Let them announce to us former things. There are seven commandments which you did accept. Did you observe them? Right? There were seven commandments of, of Macablin. How did you fulfill them? Right, Justin, you were Macablin the job, type one. Justin, did I get a house at the end? What happened at the end of the project? Did I get a house? Manalan the low kaimim. How do you know that Justin didn't finish the job? The Tani Rav Yosef, Amadumai did Eretz Reya, the Yeter Goyim. There's our famous verse from Chabakuk. Chabakuk says that Justin did not finish the job. Type one. So what? What did God see? What did the what did Justin's boss see? He saw seven mitzvahs. Shekibu Alehen B'nei Justin accepted the job, and he took the money, didn't you, Justin? You took the money, and you were supposed to build the house. And you didn't finish it. You didn't build me a house. You didn't do the seven laws. Kavon Shiloh Kaimim. Since you didn't build the house, Justin, you walked away with a hundred grand. Vehetarin lehen, is is gore is gore. What the word is gore is gore? Then they benefited by it. According to this, it pays to be a sinner. Ah, so Justin walked away with a hundred thousand dollars. And he didn't even have to build the house. So it's very good to sin. God gives you the job and you don't do it. God removes the job from you. So what's the analogy here? All you have to do is don't do the job. And then you don't have to do the mitzvahs. Justin, did you accept? Did you eh, receive or take on yourself the job to build my house? Type one. Type one. And you benefited, right? You got a hundred grand, right? Type one. And then I saw you were not interested at all. So I fired you. And you said, great, I don't want to build a house anyways. So it, it pays to uh, promote yourself, take on work, and then don't do the job, get fired from the job, and move on. And there's no consequences. And then every all I have to do in life is get hired Never do the job, and I'll never lose. Type one. That's a Vodazora to be. If so, we find it pays to sin. Even though that they fulfill them, Rashi, Hetera zo lo tu vasam he ela sheim its voyin le kaimin in ye kaimu lo ye kibu schar. Let's read that again. Let's read the English just to be safe. I don't want to waste too much more time. The release from those commands. Well, 
What does that mean? The release from those commands only means that if they are, uh, that if they observe them, ah, there we go. That, that's, uh, so what does the release mean? What does it mean that you're off the job? That even if you did it, you don't, you're not macabling a lehem schar. So, Justin, because you upset me, and the house now is delayed, type one, I'm going to call the authorities and take back my money. Unless we, we, me and you cut a deal, Justin, you build the house and keep the money, type one, but I will make sure that you never get another job again. You better manage the $100,000 very carefully because you've done such a nasty thing to me. I will make sure that's the last 100000 you ever get. Type one. So in this case, Justin was commanded, and he he did the command, but the reward is not the is not the payment, right? The reward would be if Justin were to be able to feel good about himself, and he got more jobs, and I spoke nicely about him, and all my friends, I recommended your company. Everyone loves Justin. That's the scar. Understand scar. So Rashi is saying has had had terazoi that you're released from the job. Lo to vasim he. That's not for your benefit. You don't want a bad rap. Ra'ela she'ain mitzvoyin lekaimin. You're not commanded to do it. So if if just if you were just take orders, then it would be good. Ve'im yekaimu. But you're not commanded, right? It's just now just going through the motions and getting it done. The Im Yakaimu, and all of a sudden Justin says, Well, look, Rabbi Katz, I, I ended up taking the job seriously. I did chuva a little bit, a little bit. I feel bad, and I, I did take pride. Can you recommend me? What do you think, Justin? Lo Yakablu Schar. Lo Yakablu, Makablin, Schar. Which means, Justin, you are not a contractor anymore. You are just some guy that I paid to shovel and throw around some stuff. Right? You, you had a chance to be big contractor, Justin. But because of your attitude, you became just some guy who was just working on some job. Type one. So you say maybe macabre means obligate, bind, or compel someone, especially legally or morally. That's what it is. And, and it, it's, it's a system, right? If, Justin, if you have a reputable company, do I have the right to treat you like some 15-year-old kid on the job? Right? There's, there's a certain honor that comes in. If you're a distinguished guy working a job site and I, and, I de- and I demean you, right, and I reprimand you and treat you like a 15-year-old kid who's slacking on the job, that's not McCobbin's scar, is it? But if you're going to show that that's all you are, then you're not makablin schar. See, does everybody understand the word makablin? It does not mean accept. That is ridiculous. Vatanya, Haya Rebbe Meir, Omer, Minayan Shafilo, Oyfid, Kleichavim, Isaac, Betaira, Shuka, Koyan, Gadol. How do you know an Akam? Some versions say Ger. They learn Taira are like a Koyan Gadol. It says in Vayikra, live in the law. It, does, it says Adam, not Kohen Levi, Israel, but Kohen, or but Adam, which means, Ela lemer lecha she'en makab alein schar k'mitzvah v'aisei. Ela k'mi she'en a mitzvah v'aisei. Greater is one who is commanded and does than one who is not commanded and does. All right, so hold on a second. Ah, ah, so you do get commanded because you learn Torah, type one. I say to Justin, Justin, you're not even, uh, you don't even know what mortar and bricks are. You're not a builder. You're a horrible human. You have no idea what bricks are. 
And you say back to me, Rabbi Katz, now you're being quite ridiculous. You can't say that I don't know how to build. And I say, all right, Justin, granted, you're right. You do get reward for having gone to school and figured out how to build, type one. So then what, what am I taking away from you? You're not commanded in doing. If you were commanded in doing, that would be the real scar. What does it mean, commanded in doing? Justin, do I have to ask you to do the cement right, or should you just already know to do it? It should not even be a question, right? So if you're commanded by yourself in doing, then you will get the reputable fame that you wish in your business, in industry. If I have to tell you, hey, Justin, did we do the cement today? Oh, no, Rabbi Katz, I forgot. Well, Justin, it's 3 o'clock. We should probably do the cement right about now, right? Now, even if you do it good, you are a good worker. You're going to do it good. But I have to remind you every single time, hey, Justin, we're going to be here at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, Rabbi Katz, well, sure. And then, you're, you know, it's 8.55 and you're not here. Hey, Justin, just remind you to come on the job site. Does everybody understand what we're, what we're looking at here? Are you a servant of God or are you not? Type one. The servant of God is Macablin Schar. He's Macablin. You can hire him. If you can't hire the guy, he's not getting Schar. Schar is the reward of being hired. It's very, very standard concepts in the world that we live in. Type one. That is the, the Gemara on the topic at hand. Ready for Inside the Green Book? Our question in Gare uh, ideology was the, the the naysayers out there will say, convert to Judaism. Noahide is only a response to difficult conversions because the true reward is only a convert, i.e. a Jew. Can a non-Jew receive reward? Does everyone hear the question? How does a non-Jew receive reward? Do they receive reward? The Rambam says that you are to reject Shituf, Take Kabbalah, and you merit the world to come. And you're like on the level of do, commanded and doing. You're macabling, meaning you can macablin yourself, but we don't. The Jews don't macablin you today, meaning we don't go out and make workers. We don't make you take on the seven laws, blah blah blah, and proselytize and kill you. If we have the upper hand in Israel. We could compel the world to become Gertoshav. Because we are not in position to compel the world to become Gertoshav, we rely on you to compel yourself to become Gertoshav. That is the true understanding of the Rambam, Hilchus Malachim, chapter 8, 11, 10, 11, as per the Brisker Rav. Not according to those that insist on learning the Rambam wrong, i.e. not through Tzvei Dinim. So then the only question is, is Ger a valid derech of serving God? If it's, they say if you're not doing anything, then it's a waste of time and you're not to be taken serious. But if Ger does manifest and materialize itself, then it's not a waste of time and it's a real thing. All right, let's start with... Um, Man, this is the whole Sinai experience. This is really good. Basically, God offered the Torah to everyone in the world, and Israel came, type one. And Israel said, Nasa Vanishma. Like, this is Nasa Vanishma. We will do and we will hear. And the Kabbalah wasn't until they accepted the covenant and the oath. And that was the mountain. And the nation said, you didn't make us take on anything like you made Israel. Right? 
God made Israel take on the oral Torah. We're going to do this slow and methodical. There was a revelation of the Shekhinah there. And the idea that's always said is that since they had to be coerced, they accepted the Torah willfully in the days of Purim. God said, Right, so the, the Sinai was not meant to be a repentance from fear. You understand that? God gave the seven mitzvahs. In order that Israel would be able to accept the Torah. That without the seven mitzvahs, Right, you can't give the Torah to animals. So if God had never given the seven laws, mankind never would have become mankind. This is the proof that there are seven laws. Seven laws are the aspect of the soul in man that raises him and elevates him above animals so that everyone can receive the Torah. That's a nice idea, type one. But since you didn't ex- take on the right way seven mitzvahs, then you can't accept the Torah. Right? It's, it's a process. And that's why the seven mitzvahs were taken on at the bitter waters of Mara, just before Sinai. That way, there's no way the Torah could not have been accepted. Seven mitzvahs, has seven mitzvahs hain. He explains what the seven mitzvahs are. Now, here, here we go. Now we're getting deep inside. Ready? So the, the verse in Habakkuk that this level of Kabbalah was removed from the nations at Sinai, and they have to recapture the Kabbalah. Personal acceptance. Quoting the verse from Habakkuk. All right, just again, I'm going to take you through each and every commentary here. So it's a it's Lafib Shuta that God saw that they were not Mekayim, the seven mitzvahs. And that's why Israel had to stand at Sinai to receive the Torah. What's the difference between Schar Yisrael and Schar Olimus Oilam? The Yisrael Milvad Masha Mekablin Schar Al Guf Hamitzviz. Odi Mekablin Schar Al Masha Mekayim in Ha'ilam. Now, Justin Becker, let's figure it out. Ready? So a Jew is Mekablin Schar. That means what? That means he's like a good contractor, right? Al Guf Hamitzviz. That the, the Jewish people are, are like, you know, it's like, um, you know, how, you know how when you're born into a craft, even if you're not that good, you're, you're born into it. So you're naturally good, right? Like Baron Trump will probably have some kind of idea how economics works. You guys agree with that statement? When he's 35, he will just kind of know. So he's Macablin Scar. You understand that? He's Macablin. He's a guy you can hire, even if he's like some kind of drug addict. He knows how economics works. Oh, hey, Macablin Scar, I'm Marshall McKayim and Ha'ilam. So those people, they hold up the world, right? Um, I'm a natural wrestler, even though I'm not that good. 
I am a wrestler, type one. When I pay my $20 a month for my membership at flowwrestling.org, am I holding up the wrestling community? The answer is yes, type one. Right? It's a very limited number of wrestlers. I'm, I'm, I'm sure my $20 actually does matter. That's the, that's the geschmack of the wrestling community. So I'm holding up the wrestling world, and I'm a natural contractor of wrestling. Right? I'm not going to like take the ball and score in the opposite basket. Right? I'm a natural-born wrestler. And everybody is naturally born at something. So a Jew is a natural born mitzvah machine. It doesn't mean that they're the best mitzvah people out there. It just means that's their natural craft. So the nations are natural seven law people, but it, it doesn't project globally because the Torah itself is a global cause the seven mitzvahs are a construct cause now when the nations take Kabbalah then they have like the Rambam says every mitzvah is available then they become Tikkun Olam and they are a Makabun scar and what does the Rambam say in that Halacha Justin Becker taking on a mitzvah Makabun scar how are you liking it but before the giving of the Torah, then the seven laws were, were an effort to maintain the world. And had they done it, my stomach, God would have given the Torah to mankind. But they didn't do the seven laws. And today we see that no one's doing the seven laws, except for those that take it seriously. Okay. Rashi. We're going to skip those Rashi's because it's not our Gemara. And we're still on to be. Could it be? Rashi on Habakkuk. No Kiddush. Taisvis. Taisvis. And no Taisvis. All right, now we're ready for the good stuff. You guys ready for the good stuff? That was our introduction. Ready for the good stuff? Avodazora 3A in the green book. Now we're really hot. Like I said, we're doing this the right way. That's why we're doing it slow and methodical. And we're going to answer the big question. Is gear a real path or Noahide a real path that can receive schar? Got the question? Is it really a true way to not convert to Judaism? Is is it is it is God good? Is the question. Now that's a stupid question, but we're going to answer it anyways. So that without the Kabbalah. You may do the seven laws, just like our contractor Justin in our little parable. He was acting like a 15-year-old kid. I had to tell him everything. That's not called schar. It's called mekablin schar. Justin, is there a difference between schar and mekablin schar? If a 15-year-old is getting paid... And Donald Trump is getting paid. Is the word getting paid the same in both cases? No, it's not. When Donald Trump says, I got paid, it is not the same as a 15-year-old kid. A 15-year-old kid, or Reuven, Reuven was, 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 was um, happy today. He sold a paper wallet that he made for a shekel. When Donald Trump says, yay, I got paid today, that means he got like a $35 million investment. So there's something called schar, being paid, and macablin schar, being paid and being professionally paid. 
Professionally paid has nothing to do with getting paid. It has to do with perpetuating your profession. Reuven is not a wallet maker. He doesn't care what he sells as long as he gets his shekel. Donald Trump doesn't care about $35 million. He's got more. He wants the Trump brand to be perpetuated. At that point, it's not about money. Type one. Everyone then thinks that because the nations were removed from Scar, that they're released from the seven laws. No, they still have to do the seven laws. But they're not getting paid for them. It's called Klippa. The church does the seven laws. Do you realize that? A Bene, the Bene Noach are allowed to worship in Shituf. That's why without Kabbalah, it doesn't matter. The church is doing the seven laws with Shituf. The question is, can I be Makablin Scar? How do you become Makablin Scar with your Kabbalah? Drop Shituf. Type one. Drop Shituf is the whole thing. Then you are fundamentally not belonging to another religion. You belong to Sinai, Torah, Moses, and the God of Israel, type one. But it's not a new obligation of the mitzvahs. Mankind does the mitzvahs. They just don't do them carefully. That's why the Rambam says, do them carefully. And if you're not getting reward, you're not getting punished. So that's why the nations are not being punished. The Jewish people who are macabre and scar get punished. A gear who's macabre and scar, he, uh, he will start to become punished. Just like the 15-year-old contractor, if I fire him, he's not really punished. He doesn't get a bad name. The real contractor isn't worried about losing the money. He's worried about losing his name. Type one. By the way, that's called mazel. Let me see how many paid, how far we got to get here. Not that far. So we might break this up into two classes. We'll see how far we can get. Uh, wait, we got a while. Then you got to go to Rashi. Yeah, let's see what we can do. If the worst comes to worst, we'll do it in two classes or more. All right. So now the commentators are talking about Averas, sins. I don't exactly want to go into that. Ah, oh, this is a nice one here. Look at this. This is good stuff. All right, look at this. Look in the Yafil Lalav. Shinistapik im mutter the lamed es hagoyim dine sheva mitzvah shalhe. Is it allowed to teach the goyim the dinim of their seven mitzvahs? You like that question? Kivan da amrina da amen of a heteran lehim. Since it is said that we, we have removed their schar which means careful performance they are not doing. And it seems they would need the Jewish people to get that back. That maybe God doesn't want the nations to do the mitzvahs. And this is what a lot of people in the Noahide world think. Do they not? Make them Noahides. And that way they'll never take on God again. No religion or spirituality. They'll stumble with the seven. And only the Jewish people can do the mitzvahs right. Sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? And so it looks like if the Jew helps, it's illegal. 
That's the Havamina. Havamina is I would have thought. Let's see if it's a true thought. Ready? Ube miskana kasev the kivan sheyesh b'sheva mitzvahs mishum tikkun the yishuva oylem lechem shari the lamandam. That since that there is seven mitzvahs, and the seven mitzvahs' purpose is tikkun and fixing and dwelling in the world, as we said, it's the template to the Torah. Therefore, it's allowed to teach them. Ah, you see that? It is. We are allowed to teach the world the seven mitzvahs. Odivrav tamoyamiyai. So even though that you're not getting schar from the Kabbalah, and then you assume the Jew would not teach you the seven laws, that assumes that it's okay to transgress the seven laws. Guess what? God did not remove the need to prevent sinning from the seven laws, which means you are not allowed to sin on the seven laws. So guess what that means? You have to learn the seven laws in their details. And the only way you can do that is if you're a Makablin. That's called Gertoshav, type one. We'll finish this last paragraph, and then we'll start next week directly in the green book. We're not going to introduce anything new as a, as a Hakdama, not to waste time, directly into the green book next week. All right, remind me, please. the Suffolk is the Rabbani of Hashina and Avalba Shut. Hashim Seifer. Tema Alav, the Hamaskin and Hacha, the Ha, the Hatira Lehem, Haino Shalok Ilu Alze Schar. Commit to the Ice Aval Mian Shu Alayahu. The Nimse de Mas de Hama Kashilon. Aver Alif, the Aver and the Rice. We have a, a mitzvah to teach the service of God. Back. The question is that once you were removed uh, from the mitzvahs, read this again. Right, they're not mitzvoy and al Zion mitzvahs. They're not commanded. Which they're not released, but they're not mitzvah. They're not commanded. So there's, there's, there's the question. You hear the question, Justin? God made a hat there. He made a, per, a a release of the seven mitzvahs. The question that they're asking: To what degree was the release? Was it the reward? Was it the command? Was it they're not fulfilling? Was it totally released? So put therefore, because they were released, putting a stumbling block before the blind is only rabbinic. Wow. So our good friend Alan Cecil likes to say that you, if a Jew does putting a stumbling block for the blind by getting the Noahide to castrate an animal, 
where they want to, he want to argue it was derisa, it isn't. It's the Rabbanan. Because God removed those kind of things at Sinai. That's why you have to become Ger in order to reclaim those derisa levels. That's what God is asking. He's saying, get derisa, remove Shetuf. Otherwise, remain rabbinic, which is a result from the head there. Avos shuchas m'seifer. The hamaskin on hacha. The hada heter and lehen. Haino shaloki b'lozei schar. He says, you're only missing schar, the chas m'seifer. So are you missing mitzave or schar? No one says you don't have to do it. Avos mi'an shu'alayhu. But they are punished. So putting a stumbling block before a Noahide is derisa. Out of Rabba. Wait, wait, wait. Out of Rabba. Ah. Ah. So because you cannot put a stumbling block before the blind is derisa from the Torah. You have a mitzvah to teach them about us Hashem. Right? So it's not just so much that it's um, don't put a stumbling block. Don't, don't bring the, the Noahides to sin. Abba Rabba, teach them how to serve God. Tov Tam Vedas. That's pretty good. You are to teach them how to serve God. Dafka. That's the gift of having received the Torah. All right. And we're going to stop there. So thank you for listening. Be well.